Hey y'all, normally we will just jump right into the cleaning video, but I just wanted to jump in here real quick since it's my first one and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. And I'm sorry that it's a little wonky. I am still trying to figure out time lapses on my phone and how to do all that stuff. So just bear with me. We'll learn as we go and hopefully you enjoy it in the meantime. So let's get motivated to clean under the bed. So as the title suggests, my primary goal on this rainy, cool day was to clean under my bed. Unfortunately, since I live in such a small space, that meant moving my mattress and box spring out of the way first. This essentially trapped me in the bedroom, which is why you'll see my mom pop in and out of the screen every now and then. And of course, mischief had to explore. I started by picking up any little dust, debris, and garbage that was under there and I also got rid of this skateboard that I was going to upcycle when we had our craft business but never got around to it so I just threw it out. As you can see a lot of stuff is already in totes but I just needed to go through them and clean the carpet and get rid of any cobwebs. And it's funny I found this box of LuLaRoe that I think I was trying to sell at one point and totally forgot it was even under there. So I ended up having to go through that, which you'll see a little bit later. I did end up actually keeping a couple of the pieces, so I'm kind of glad that I forgot about it. This bed has a headboard that has a little alcove, which you just saw. And I really hate it because that's where it gets most dusty. That's where all the spiders live. And mischief always gets back there and gets stuck and scratches. So you'll see a little bit later I'm going to shove some things back there even though it looks like clutter. Because I need to make sure he can't get back there. I found some cat hair caked up on the carpet. And it was not coming up with just vacuums. So my mom and I tried to brush. And while that worked, it just was taking way too long, so we decided to just move the stuff and wrestle the big vacuum into the bedroom. Before that, I wiped down the bed frame. I really hate this metal bed frame because it just gets disgusting, absolutely disgusting. That briefcase you saw me just dust, that is going to be showing up on my vlogging channel, um, kind of like a way to upcycle it, so if you want to check that out, there is a link in the description. My mom brought up the very good point that since I had the space free, I should vacuum other or areas of the room that are usually difficult, so that's what I just did. Then I had to go through the totes and get rid of anything I wasn't using or didn't immediately bring me joy, which wasn't much, but it was enough to essentially declutter. I probably could have gotten rid of the scenic games, but I just could not force myself to do it just yet, especially the friends one, so I just kept them in their boxes under the bed. I also changed the direction that I had the totes in because I felt like it was a lot more easy access this way. And it essentially had a little bit of extra space after cleaning. So then I just had to wrestle the bed back into place. Which looks easy in a time lapse, but it definitely was not because I have a very heavy mattress and I have very short arms. But I got it in and then I got into the closet to try to find something to shove back there in that alcove, which you'll see in a minute. It wasn't the ideal piece of thing to put back there, but it was about the only thing I could find that would work. <clears throat> it was just a suitcase with a bunch of old frames and pictures and things that were on my wall in the old place. And it was extremely heavy, but it fit. And then I also put a uh, money safe and a couple other small little things back there. just made the bed again but I didn't go crazy with it because autumn is coming which means I'm just going to change things around because of the small space I have to lift my mattress to tuck anything in and it is not fun at all because again it is a very heavy mattress Safe to say that my muscles and everything was sore the next day, but at least I got it done. 
It's a task that's been sitting for a long time and it finally got it done, so I was very happy for that. And obviously I am vacuuming now and you might ask yourself why I have to vacuum yet again. And it's mostly because from moving the mattress and things, little pieces of stuff just gets everywhere, plus it gets on the bottom of our feet. So I just make sure to do a little quick vacuum to just kind of get up some of the debris that is left over. And I still lifted it over the mattress to do this spot over here again, just because I know there was stuff I missed and mischief had eaten afterwards. So there was definitely cat food on the floor. And of course I had to do it in the hallway because you try to do it in my room and you start feeling claustrophobic and the walls are starting to close in because there's just not enough room. I did keep a couple of pieces of the LuLaRoe as I mentioned, but I also found an uh, Amazon Echo in there that is very old and I'm not sure if it's even gonna still work, but I kept it anyway. Anybody else wish that garbage bags were stand up right bags? It'd be so much easier to dump the garbage into them if they were. I apologize for the train you might be hearing in the background. Um, I live in the middle of a city, so you're gonna hear things when I do voiceovers like this that I cannot avoid, especially during the summer because I have to have the window open in the studio. So there's just a little bit of ambiance for you there. <laughs> I bought this bag when I worked at the law firm and I feel like it's not getting any use, but I don't wanna get rid of it and I don't wanna just shove anything in it because I might want to use it as a overnight bag sometime if I start traveling more or anything. I know it doesn't look like I'm cleaning under the bed anymore, but I had to move this shelving piece over here to make room for the mattress and box spring, and then I decided that I just I liked it there and I wanted to move my candles down from the top of my desk that you see there because the sunlight coming in from the window is just ruining them. So I moved them down onto this shelving unit. Another noise you probably just heard in the voiceover was my air freshener. They go off every nine minutes unfortunately because uh, I share a room with a cat box. So it's just another piece of ambiance that you're probably going to hear quite often in these voiceovers. So as I was doing this, I realized how messy the cat supplies were. So I went through that tote, ended up finding that the bottom was lined with spilled cat treats. So I ended up having to vacuum all that up. So the first shelf I put the holiday candles up since that's the time of year we're going into. And then the second shelf was everything summery. And after dusting, I decided that I was going to put the books I have written up here. I was going to put them in a box so I didn't have to deal with them because they are adult fiction and I am now writing young adult fiction, but decided that they were inspiration anyway because I did in fact write them. So I put those up here and then I put um, Miss Sarah Sutton's books up here as well because they are a big part of the reason I'm trying to break into YA. They are very inspirational to me. So I decided better have them close by on my writing desk. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for joining me. I know it was a short one and kind of a messy one, but we're going to keep going and we're going to learn as we go. And I hope you guys will join me for more cleaning videos in the shoebox apartment that I live in. So thanks for joining. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and I would love to have you as a subscriber and I will see you guys next time.